there is something going on in our schools, according to this, something called furry. I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that is hungry. This is a bill that is a solution in search of a need. Senator Mohammed, so can illegal aliens get a driver's license under this bill? Um, Senator Mohammed, and, and just everybody gets to choose their words, but undocumented people uh, might They're be They're my words, Madam Chair, and um, illegal is that. breaking the law, aliens is part of our federal law. It's described to me that we have kids in our schools that believe that they are animals. And they are identifying, I'm told, as animals. Identifying as animals. They think they're a cat. A cat. They put tails on and they demand that they have a litter box in the school. Has anybody else heard that? The dictionary, Merriam-Webster says, furry is a person who identifies with and enjoys dressing as an animal, especially as a member of a subculture devoted to the practice. That's what Merriam-Webster says. This bill provides universal lunch and breakfast to all Minnesota school students free of charge by creating a, a school meals program within MDE. This is pure socialism. This is about control. It's about the government dictating to kids what they're going to eat and how much they're going to eat. The party in control here, Mr. President, the Socialist Party of Minnesota, is telling the people of Minnesota how they have to feed their kids. I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Now, I should say that Hunger is a relative term, Mr. President. You know, I had a cereal bar for breakfast. I guess I'm hungry now. Uh, that, to some, might be the, maybe that's the definition of the bill. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see a definition of hunger in the bill, Mr. President. I don't think that that is a term that is in this bill and or no human being should be referred to as that. And so I will make that clear, um, especially because I'm an immigrant. And so if I didn't have its status, I don't think I would want to be called an illegal or My wife's alien. an immigrant too. I'll say this. I took on this bill for many reasons. And one of the reasons is because I was so tired of the way people were demeaning me as an immigrant and demeaning people who I knew just because they didn't have a status as if they were less of a human being. And I think you can refer to them as whatever you want. But we do this work because we're humans and we respect people. And I want you to know some of the people who you're speaking of that way live and work in this community. And they work in this building. 